What's up everyone? First of all, thanks to all of you for the great feedback on the New Year New Gear video from last month. It seems to have been very well received, so I thought why not make a part 2 of this. And isn't this also the perfect excuse to get some new gear anyway? Well, today's new gear is all by Joyo. I'm now the proud owner of a new Joyo firebrand, the R15 preamp house and the amazing R14 Atmosphere Reverb. As in the last video, I also wrote a little demo song again, so you can get a better idea of how all these things sound like in action. For those of you who don't want to hear all this talking, here are some timestamps so you can skip ahead to each gear and of course that demo song. Well, those of you who know me and know a little bit more about my favorite gear, know already that I'm a big Joyo fan for quite a while now especially the Band Amp miniseries. I bought the Zombie in early 2018 and was so blown away by the sound and also the volume that comes out of this little thing that I quickly retired my 6505 and almost exclusively used the Zombie for everything I did in the studio and on stage. The sound of the Zombie was aimed to be close to the Mesa Boogie rectifier sound. That's also why the letters M and B are highlighted in the name. And it actually sounds really, really close to an actual rectifier, but for the fraction of the price and it also fits in my backpack. So since I'm a big friend of having very transportable rigs when playing live, this thing is such a blessing for me. It fits in my backpack and is absolutely loud enough to keep up with every drummer in a rehearsal scenario and also on any stages. So after the Zombie, I bought the Joyo Vivo, which sounds very similar to the PV5150. So in all my past videos since 2018, it was these two amps you've been hearing. And now I have the new Joyo Firebrand, which sounds similar to the Engel Fireball, as the name implies. Just like the other two amps, it is also a two-channel tube amp, and you should not underestimate it, judged by its size, because with its 20 watts it is so loud, I can tell you. Its controls are very straightforward with the input jack on the front here, an on off switch, the volume tone and gain control, there's a switch to select between clean and distortion channel and a Bluetooth switch. Because these amps come with Bluetooth, which comes in very handy if you want to practice at home for example, then you simply connect your phone to the amp play some play along songs and jam along with your guitar. On the back we have an effects loop, a headphone jack so you can even play super quietly at home, the output jack so you can connect any A215 ohm cabinet and this thing is the Bluetooth antenna. Well, I can tell you already this thing sounds absolutely amazing. And as I know from my experience with the other two amps, it is also very sturdy. I mean, I've been using the Zombie now for almost three years and never had a single problem with it. Okay, next big improvement in the studio gear is the Joyo R15 preamp house. It is an amp simulation of nine classic amps, has a clean and distortion channel, and you can play it through your headphones for practicing, plug it into the power amp of your real amp, or you can actually go directly into a mixer or your recording interface because it even has an integrated cap simulation. This thing is such a great tool, man, and it's not that complicated to use. You can just plug in your guitar, you have an effects loop, so you can plug in your reverbs, delays and all your time-based effects that you have. And then from the output, you can go to the return channel of your amplifier. And here on the side, there is an XLR output to go directly in the recording interface. The controls are pretty self-explaining. You have gain, bass, middle, treble, volume and a master control. Over here, you can select the nine amp models. And in the middle, there's a switch which lets you turn the cap simulation on or off. And with these two knobs, you can switch between the clean and distortion channel, of course but also you can save all the settings you make to each channel. Really great pedal, as I said, and the sound just blew my mind. I don't know how they did it, because it's also not like any other good distortion pedal, but it has this actual tube amp feeling, if you know what I mean. 
Well, it's hard to explain, but YouTube guys probably know what I'm talking about. Okay, so what is really essential to any great guitar sound? Exactly, the reverb. So here we have the Joyo R14 Atmosphere Reverb. And man, does this create some amazing atmosphere, let me tell you. So it basically works like any other reverb pedal. It has nine different sounds and really all of them have their really unique characteristics. You know, like some pedals have 20 different reverb sounds or so, but in the end they all sound so similar that you really only have one or two you end up using. Well, I'm not gonna bore you with showing you all the reverb sounds this thing has to offer. I'm sure there are some other really good reviews for that here on YouTube, but let's go quickly over my four favorite sounds that are all actually used in the demo song. So first up we have a plate reverb and I found this one worked really well with a heavy distortion and it's a little more subtle than for example a spring reverb especially when mixing multiple guitars with different reverbs together. Then we have church which I mean come on it's always a good idea to throw in a little church into a black metal song right? My favorite sound of this pedal is the shimmer reverb. Although it's more suitable for very clean sounds and therefore not too often used in most metal songs, uh, but it can create such a huge atmosphere that it just carries you away and I could honestly play for hours and hours and totally lose track of time, man. And lastly, my second favorite sound of this pedal is the forest reverb. Seriously, calling a reverb forest, I mean, how much more black metal can a reverb even get? All in all, a mind-blowingly good pedal and this one definitely will go into my live rig. Well, once we can actually play live shows again, so let's hope that's gonna be sometime soon. Well, now that we have covered all of the new gear, how does it sound in an actual song? For this I used my PRS SE277 semi-hollow soap bar which is a baritone guitar with a 27.7 inch scale length, hence the name 277. And yes, you'd be surprised of the incredible metal sound you can get out of these P90 pickups. Uh, this one I have tuned down to A sharp. The other guitar is my PRS SE Custom 24 Floyd and it has the 8515S pickups in it and it's tuned to E flat for this song. For the clean parts I use the Firebrand and the Zombie along with the Church, Shimmer and Forest reverbs. The distortion parts were recorded with the number 6 and 7 amps of the R15 which are the EVH 5153 and the Engel Powerball along with the double tracked signal to the Joyo Vivo for the rhythm guitars. And for the lead or melody guitars I use the Zombie and Firebrand Reverbs on the distortion parts are church and plate. Okay, enough of all the talking, let's play some music. <laughs> 